The Israeli government has stated that it will allow aid shipments to reach Gaza through Egypt, provided that these supplies are not directed to Hamas. This decision came after a visit by U.S. President Joe Biden, who played a role in coordinating the assistance. In a statement on Wednesday night, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's office conveyed that while Israel would not permit aid to enter the Palestinian enclave from its own territory, it would grant access for humanitarian transfers from Egypt, as long as it is only food, water and medicine for the civilian population located in the southern Gaza Strip. Any supplies that reach Hamas will be prevented, he added, noting that the decision was made at the request of the U.S. President. Biden visited Tel Aviv on Wednesday to express solidarity with Israel during the ongoing conflict with Palestinian militants in Gaza. The recent escalation in violence was triggered by a deadly terrorist attack carried out by Hamas earlier this month, an incident that Biden compared to 15 9-11s, considering the size of Israel. The U.S. president mentioned that 20 truckloads of aid are set to arrive from Egypt through the Rafah border crossing into Gaza starting on Friday. The U.N. will assist in distributing the supplies, but Biden emphasized that aid would be suspended if any of the goods ended up in the possession of Hamas. He also hinted at the possibility of a second tranche of aid, but stated that he will assess the situation as it progresses. On Thursday, Egypt declared its intention to reopen the Rafah crossing for the sustainable conveyance of humanitarian aid, as conveyed by presidential spokesman Ahmed Fahmy. Khalid Zayed, the head of the Red Crescent for North Sinai, told reporters that 200 trucks carrying 3,000 tons of aid were heading towards Rafah, or are already stationed there. The United Nations and various international human rights organizations have been sounding the alarm about the severe humanitarian crisis taking place in Gaza. This crisis unfolded after Israel disrupted the supply of electricity, water and fuel, compelling over a million Palestinians to promptly relocate to the southern region of this densely populated area. Hundreds of thousands of refugees have sought safety amidst intense Israeli airstrikes, and the United Nations has cautioned about an unprecedented disaster in Gaza as stocks of food, fuel and medicine are depleting rapidly. Israeli officials said the supplies would not be restored from their end until Hamas and other Palestinian militant groups free hostages taken during their deadly October 7 raid into Israeli territory. Around 1,400 people in Israel have been killed in this month's hostilities, as well as over 3,000 Palestinians, according to local officials.